In one year from now, we are going to get a remarkable show. Have you ever seen Supernova? Imagine this moment when you witness something so beautiful, so great, so explosive. Quiet starry night, you sit on the terrace, looking up at the stars. Suddenly, something unimaginable happens, like in a movie. You see and you cannot believe your eyes. Strong light in the sky, but it is not a UFO, but an explosion, so beautiful, so magical. Two stars collided and merged into one large supernova, or known as Red Nova. This phenomenon will be the brightest object in the sky. But do not worry, it is completely safe, and this event will not be the beginning of the end of our planet. You will witness something unimaginable, something so divine that you will think you are dreaming. Stellar collisions are an amazingly rare thing. According to our best estimates, such events only occur in our galaxy, within globular clusters once every 10,000 years. It's only been recently, thanks to ongoing improvements in instrumentation and technology, that astronomers have been able to observe such mergers taking place. As of yet, no one has ever witnessed this phenomenon in action, but that may be about to change. Professor Lawrence Molnar and his team shared findings that indicate how this binary pair will merge in about six years' time. This event, they claim, will cause an outburst of light so bright that it will become the brightest object in the night sky. This binary star system, which is known as KIC 9832227, is one that Professor Molnar and his colleagues have been monitoring since 2013. This led to questions about the nature of this star system, specifically, whether it was a pulsar or a binary pair. After conducting their own observations using the Calvin Observatory, Professor Molnar and his colleagues concluded that the star was a contact binary, a class of binary star where the two stars are close enough to share an atmosphere. This brought to mind similar research in the past about another binary star system known as V1309 Scorpi. This binary pair also had a shared atmosphere, and over time, their orbital period kept decreasing until, in 2008 they unexpectedly collided and exploded. Believing that KIC 9832227 would undergo a similar fate, they began conducting tests to see if the star system was exhibiting the same behavior. The first step was to make spectroscopic observations to see if their observations could be explained by the presence of a companion star. The next step was to measure the pair's orbital period, to see it was in fact getting shorter over time, which would indicate that the stars were moving closer to each other. By 2015, Professor Molnar and his team determined that the stars would eventually collide, resulting in a kind of stellar explosion known as a red nova. Initially, they estimated this would take place between 2018 and 2022. The burst of light it will cause will be bright enough to be seen from Earth. The star will be visible as part of the constellation Cygnus, and it appears as an addition star in the familiar Northern Cross star pattern. This is an historic case, since no astronomer has ever been able to accurately predict when and where a stellar collision would take place in the past. Finally, in 2017, Molnar's team came to an exciting conclusion, the stars are already tangled up in a complicated dance that will inevitably end with their merger and ensuing explosion in 2022. This first-of-its-kind prediction of a Red Nova event visible to the naked eye quickly made headlines around the world, captivating astronomy enthusiasts and astronomers alike. But in a new study published today in the Astrophysical Journal Letters, another team of researchers led by Quentin Socher, a graduate student at San Diego State University, scrutinized Molnar's original prediction, ultimately concluding that the prophesied explosion will not happen as planned. To verify or disprove Molnar's original prediction, Socher and his team concentrated on a gap in observational data from 1999 to 2007 for KIC 9832227. After obtaining previously unpublished data captured in 2003, the researchers discovered a curious discrepancy between when the two stars were expected to eclipse each other, and when they actually did. When they turned their attention to meticulously analyzing the paper that described the 1999 data, they discovered a typo. The paper had incorrectly transcribed the time of an observed eclipse by precisely 12 hours. Molnar's original prediction of a 2022 merger was based off the apparent exponential decay of KIC 9832227's orbital period. 
He then matched this slowing orbital period with models of previously seen mergers, finding that the slowing orbit falls in line with what would be expected from a pair of touching stars preparing to put on a show. However, since KIC 9832227's orbital period is not changing quite as dramatically as Molnar first though, his model-based prediction no longer holds water.